Detroit folks, come in, yeah! Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Twan. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some beats in the style of Drake. I got really inspired by the snippet he posted on IG uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, he was, it's, the song is called like Fair Trade. Yeah. Hey. Feeling young. Uh, it has like a vocal sample and then it leads into some like hard, like hard drums. Um, and yeah, I got really inspired by that and also by the song that came out last year. I think it's called Grease uh, with DJ Khaled. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make a beat in that style, kind of in the style of Certified Lover Boy as well. Uh, and yeah, let's get straight to it. So all right, I got the sample pulled up um, and I'm just gonna start breaking it down. So first I started with this Omnisphere. So I went into Omnisphere and I picked this Krypton's Crystals uh, preset right here. And uh, I lay down uh, these chords right here. So without any effects, uh, here's what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds really hard. Uh, I added a couple of effects. I added an EQ, uh, uh, Waves Compressor, CLA 2A Compressor, and then a Fab Filter EQ cutting out some of the highs. And this is what it sounds like with these effects. So yeah, fire. Then I went into Omnisphere again, and this time pulled up the Melodies from Space preset, which is kind of like an arpeggio. And uh, I copied and pasted the same chords, and I'm gonna show you guys without any effects, this is what it sounds like. sounds all over the place and doesn't have really any like direction but I added some effects, EQs, a delay tape 201 from Arturia uh, with the EQ uh, mid modulated preset, halftime, uh, fab filter EQ and then a parametric EQ cutting out the lows, the highs and some frequencies I didn't want and this is what it sounds like now with the effects. So yeah, it sounds much better, sounds more concise. Uh, and then finally, I went and added a, a CS80 V3 from Arturia with the Android's Dream preset. And again, I copied the same um, chords and added some effects. Here's what it sounds like without any effects. So for the effects, I added some EQ, uh, Ambience. Ambience is a reverb plugin I finally was able to download. I don't know why I had it on my computer, but I never downloaded it. Uh, it's a really cool reverb, very good reverb. I would definitely recommend it. Um, then I added this Valhalla Vintage Verb, a Goodhurst Volt Compressor, turning down the lo-fi um, and turning down the mix as well, just so it wasn't as harsh. And then a, I added this Bandpass Narrow uh, from Fab Filter EQ. Um, so yeah, this is what it sounds like with the effects. So yeah, my, uh, my idea with this was like, I was going to get some nice big chords, uh, to kind of set the tone. And then I used a vocal, uh, sample to kind of like tell the story. You know what I mean? This is how I uh, made this melody. So I went and I got this uh, vocal uh, uh, phrase from, um, what's it called? From Splice. And uh, here's what it sounds like. The original vocal chop. This was the original vocal chop without any effects. <laughs> vocal was was kind of cool you know it's pretty cool but i didn't think you know if you kind of just layer these 
do, you do, you do, you do. You know, it's, I don't know, it doesn't fit very well. So even if you add the effects that I added, uh, I added this Alter Boy, but forget about it. It's not really doing anything. EQ, cutting the lows out, a Valhalla Vintage Verb. Uh, pretty, you know, not too, too strong of a reverb. You know, the size is at 50%. Uh, decay is at 1.60 seconds. I added this EQ with the bandpass an hour preset and I kind of changed, turned the EQ to where I wanted it to be. And then in another EQ, uh, yeah, cutting out some lows, some highs. Uh, this is what it sounds like now. But still, I thought I could make this better, so I went ahead and like chopped it up. And I'm gonna show you guys the first version of the chops that I had. This was it. But I was like, hmm, that last little part it's not hitting like that so um i copied and pasted uh this uh vocal and i made it unique and i put put it into uh melodyne and melodyne is a tool that a lot of people use to kind of like figure out the root notes of melodies and samples which is it, it is a great tool for that uh, but it can also be used uh to kind of you know tweak and uh tune uh retune um uh melodies but in this case i use it to retune the vocal and i wanted to change the notes of that last vocal um so if i actually do it again live i can show you guys so yeah i drag this to mixer track 14 i'm gonna add melodyne right here and you're gonna want to do transfer like that and you press play and it's gonna like transfer the vocal into the melodyne <laughs> have the vocal and uh, from this vocal I tweaked these notes right here uh, to then make it into this so I, I changed it from like this I just thought that fit very uh, that fit way better with the chords so to show you guys uh the final sample that i had right here it sounds like this <laughs> Yeah, pretty much then i made uh a couple parts i made this part then i made this part with the vocals pitched up one octave and then i made these chops that i thought could be used for the um, for the verses uh and here's what it sounds like So yeah, and then I had a version like that and then a version pitched up right here. And uh, this is the final sample. This is what the final sample sounds like.
So yeah, now let's add some drums. So since I had kind of Drake in, in mind when I was making this sample and this beat, I thought that the drums need to be kept very, very sim simple. And quick little plug, all the drum sounds are from my uh, drum kit that will be coming out. This is the 808 Pierre. This is the clap, the Luke's Lex Luger clap. And this is the Drizzy hi-hat. And yeah, this is the beat. Young Twan. 